G'day guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to give you a bit of a tutorial on how to rebuild your clutch master cylinder. Uh, so in the Land Cruiser I was driving home from a four wheel drive trip a couple of weeks ago and um, I'd put my foot down on the clutch and it'd stay on the floor um, and then you could pop it back up with your foot and you could reuse it. So it sort of seemed like there was fluid leaking past the seals in the master cylinder. Um, but because the fluid was all dark and discoloured, um, I decided to try and bleed through the system first just to rule that out. Um, and the issue was still present after bleeding through. Um, so I've decided to rebuild the clutch master cylinder today um, with a rebuild kit and also bleed through another lot of fresh fluid as well. Alright guys, so this is what you get in the hydraulic clutch master cylinder rebuild kit. Um, so inside here you get a new boot for the outside, get a new spring, a new circlip, and also the main piston for inside the cylinder. So this is the clutch pedal here, and you can see the little piston there going off the back when I push it down into the back of the clutch master cylinder through that little seal so that top bolt up there that top nut I'm gonna to have to get that off because that's the um, internal nut that's holding the master cylinder on so I'll get that off now so now just up here there's a little pin holding um, the pivot point onto this back of the clutch pedal so I'm just gonna pop that out so I can slide the hole piston out with the master cylinder. So now that this little pin's out of the back of the clutch pedal, you can see that this is free. So that'll go out through the back with the master cylinder. All right, so now we've got the top nut from the inside, which is through here. You can release the uh, line, hydraulic line to the master cylinder. Now that's off. So now that hydraulic line's off, we can take this 12mm nut down here off, which is the other nut holding the master cylinder in. So now all the bolts and the hydraulic lines are off. Should be able to pull the whole unit out. Just feed the shaft out from inside the car. And there you have it. So that's the first part done. All right guys, so now we've got the clutch master cylinder out of the car. You can see how it works. So you've got the piston on the left side, which goes off your clutch pedal. So basically, put a little container over here so it doesn't squirt. So basically your clutch pedal is on this end and it pushes down and into the back of the master cylinder which squirts hydraulic fluid out this port which then goes down to your slave cylinder which is on the clutch fork. So we're just going to get this little boot off. Pull that back. You can see in here there's a little circlip, so we're going to remove that circlip. There we go. Spring's popping up now. So we'll just take that end out. So you can see the piston there, and down in here will be the spring. Alright, so now we can just pull the spring out of here, so you can see the spring there, and once you got the spring out, you can loosen off this little plug on the bottom, 
just so we can clean it out because you can see all the gunk in there so basically now what we're going to do is just clean everything up get all the, the gunk out of it get all the dirt out of it and then we'll rebuild it with all the new seals that we got so what you can see here is the old piston and spring I pulled out of the master cylinder and this is the new piston and spring so you can see how the new spring is you know a good centimeter and a half longer than the old one so that definitely could have contributed to the pedal not returning correctly so also you can see a difference in the seals so you can see how the seal on this new one sticks out a lot more than the seal on this old used one so it's going to seal a lot better and make sure that all that hydraulic pressure is going to the clutch slave cylinder so now we're going to reassemble the master cylinder just screw this little valve in and tighten it up later so we'll put the new spring in now with the new seals on these we want to just put a little bit of brake fluid around them just to lubricate them make sure they don't grab in the housing or anything so now we can that end on now this is going to be a bit tricky you're going to have to hold it all and put the circlip in at the same time so so we get that circlip in Make sure it's definitely in. Definitely under. Let's put the little boot on. Get over. And that's assembled pretty much. So just tighten this up. Alright guys, so now we're just gonna bench bleed it. So just gonna hold it in the vise and top up the reservoir. Once it's topped up, I'm just going to use a container to hold it over where the fluid's going to squirt out and pump the piston there. So when you activate it now, you can see that you get really good flow coming out of this port here. So we know that this mass cylinder is now bench bled, so there's no air within this cylinder in here so we're right to fit it back to the car so now we've bench bled it we can refit it to the car All right, just give it, yeah, three pumps and hold it. Another three times and then hold it. Yeah, five times and hold it. Yeah, five more times and hold it, please.
and release. Need four sets of hands. 